Scientists on a research vessel in the Gulf of Mexico are finding a substantial layer of oily sediment stretching for dozens of miles in all directions. Their discovery suggests that a lot of oil from the deep water horizon didn't simply evaporate or disappear into the water. It has settled to the sea floor. The research vessel Oceanus sailed on August 21st on a mission to figure out what happened to the more than 4 billion barrels of oil that gushed into the water. On board, Samantha Joye, a professor in the Department of Marine Sciences at the University of Georgia, says that she suddenly had a pretty good idea of where it all ended up. It's showing up in the samples on the sea floor, between the well site and the coast. French oil giant Total on Thursday announced its first ever investment in a coal seam gas project, paying around 750 million US dollars for a 20% stake in an Australian joint venture. The project will convert coal steam gas from fields in Queensland into liquefied natural gas at a plant in the country's east coast, from where it will be sold to energy-hungry Asian markets. Total is buying a 15% stake in the Gladstone liquefied natural gas project from Santos, Australia's largest domestic gas producer, and a 5% stake from Petronas, Malaysia's national oil and gas company. Oil prices fell back on Thursday after getting an early boost from lower jobless claims and crude inventories. Benchmark oil for October delivery lost 42 cents to settle at 74.25 a barrel on the New York Mercantile Exchange. Gas pump prices were virtually unexchanged at a national average of $2.68 for a gallon of unleaded regular. That's about half a cent higher than a week ago and 11 cents about a year ago. The Labor Department said new claims for unemployment benefits dropped 27,000 last week more than economists expected. That helped push stock prices up in early trading at the stock exchange market. Energy traders have been watching the direction of the stocks for signs of confidence in the economy, which would increase oil and gas demand. We'll be back tomorrow with more news making waves. Till then, it's goodbye from the studios.